What's going on, Assassins? As the hunt for Odin's Eye heats up, a lot of you have your own input. A lot of you believe that you've deciphered some of the clues that I've shown you. And a couple of the results are actually really, really worthwhile. A lot of you have come up with a lot of great ideas, uh, not just as where it may be, but why we may also have to wait until the next DLC for the whole mystery to actually be solved. Or could it be a secondary mystery? I'm Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this. So we found all the Odin illusionary runes, or as far as we know, we found them all. There may be more. There may be a whole nother mystery, but what it boils down to is the fact that, number one, these things were all really hard to find. I mean, a lot of work went into this, and I highly commend the entire community for finding them all. Six over in England, three in Ireland. We haven't seen what's going on with the Paris DLC. There may be more, but there is an excerpt from what I've shown you guys where we believe Mercy was Mercia. And I'm going to show you really quick again the blurb that we got from our friend Slap as far as how this goes. So, I have gathered many treasures in my life. I'm ready to give them away, but only to whoever I think is worthy. I can teach you, Eivor, but first let's fight. This old woman has the ardor of a young Jums Viking. She is as lively as a wolf. She looks like a warrior with a legendary shield, but who is this woman? And then it continues. I am in danger of being beaten by an old woman. What is this magic and why do you have as much strength as a berserker? It's a receptacle. You have to fill it with the energy generated in battle, but it only works with this type of altar. You can find them all over mercy. You'll get your answers, I promise. Now, it's the sentence about you can find them all over mercy that has people kind of paying a little close attention. Now, this is why we thought maybe it was Mercia or maybe it was somebody who was called Mercy. But a lot of you have pointed out and some have pointed out very, very rudely that this is a town or a place over in Paris. Now, if that's true and this does reference the place in Paris, that means obviously that we do have to wait for the Paris DLC. But... It poses another problem because if we're looking for altars specifically all over Paris, then the problem is that this is going to be a separate quest. This doesn't have anything to do with Odin's illusionary eye or runes. Then again, maybe it does. But first, I've indicated the location of an altar on your map. Once there, enter meditation. The amulet will lead you into the Hugheim. Exactly. Now take and hold this up in the air. Now hand it over to me. This is the Eye of Odin. It's going to show us the direction of the next place. I needed this. It would lead us to the Crypt of Odin. So if that's true, and we're supposed to find all kinds of altars over in Paris then what does this have to do with the illusionary runes that are here in England and the ones that we found over in Ireland? It kind of seems weird that we'd be on a chase to, first of all, we have to find this eye. Then we have to power it up by going to altars all around Paris. And then after we do that, that's when we end up coming back to England or Ireland. If the eye is showing us the different routes in Paris, for what reason would we need to come back then to England or to Ireland if this is showing us altars in Paris? Do you see what I'm saying? This kind of makes no sense. So either it's a separate quest or it's a preemptive quest to power this thing up in order to be able to come back 
to Odin's illusionary runes and open them up. Or there's an entirely separate quest involving the Eye of Odin. So it's just very confusing. Now, if there is a spot for... if I mean, obviously you guys know that Mercy exists because a lot of the community has been claiming that it, it is a place that exists over in Paris. So if Mercy exists in Paris and we're supposed to run around Paris unlocking this Eye of Odin or powering it up and it's going to show us the different routes to lead us to the tomb of Odin, then in the tomb of Odin, would we find something that would help us unlock these over here in Ireland and England? Or is there something that we missed? Is there a whole separate way of doing this? Now we have a bunch of confusion. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys think that this is all linked? Do you guys think that the... Uh, the the things that are going to go on in Paris are going to be linked to this, or do you think that what's going on in Paris, that whole Eye of Odin thing, is just for Paris alone? It's going to be the basis there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, because again, this is very confusing. Is the Eye linked, or is there something we're missing with Odin's illusionary runes? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, it helps this channel out an awful lot. You won't miss any of this crazy content when it comes out. Yeah. We're going to yah yeet. Until next time, stay safe, be good, take care, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one.